Hey guys, how's everyone? I hope you guys are doing well. I am back, and I'm not missing a holiday tutorial. And this is what I came up with. If you guys would like to see how this is done, come with me and let's get started. So the number one rule about makeup is to apply a primer. Now that's gonna help even out your whole skin layer and also make your makeup last longer. So every time I shave around my lips, it leaves a green shadow, which is not pleasant because when I apply my foundation, you can still see it. And then people would point out that, oh, they can see my, you know, after shave or whatnot, and it's not cute. So I'm going to even out that with red concealer. And then I'm just gonna go over with my skin color concealer so that it can even out. My recommendation for those who have dark circles is to apply a green concealer underneath your eyes. Yes, a lot of us are pretty guilty on getting enough sleep, but I mean, hey, that's what makeup is for. I recommend a lot of you to try the Bare Skin by Bare Minerals Concealer. I'm not really big on heavy makeup, and this is definitely the number one thing so far that I'm using that I am so pleased with. With my Shadow Insurance by Too Faced, I'm gonna apply that to my eyes. That way, my eyeshadows can be more vibrant. Now is the time for me to take out the Jaclyn Hills Morphe palette and I'm gonna start off with a transitional color to apply to my eyes. That way, I have a base going. So I'm kinda curious to see what type of look you guys are gonna do for the holidays. Why not do a couple of looks and then, you know, hashtag Antang Official on Instagram because I would like to see, please. <laughs> Now with that nice emerald shimmery green, I'm going to apply that to my natural crease and wing it out. So I'm trying this cut crease type of style. It is kind of like my first time without like the tape and the guideline. So bear with me, I'm just trying something new. Just slowly build your intensity because the slower you are, the more that you take your time on it the better result it'll be for you, so that way you won't mess up. <sighs> so I'm just pretty much blending and blending and blending. You know, the makeup usual. <laughs> then with the darker green, I'm going to define that crease and then I'm going to draw a V on the outer part of my eyes to kind of help sharpen out that look. And you know, yeah. So build the intensity until you are satisfied. I noticed that I used the same brush throughout the whole video, but I mean, it saves me the trouble of cleaning all of my other brushes, I guess, <laughs> you know? Now with my concealer, I'm going to apply it with a flatter brush to the inner part of my eyes. That way, when I apply my shimmery colors, it can pop out more. So yeah, I know I messed up a couple of times, but I mean, it still came out nice and you know, I'm not complaining. This is my first time really trying to properly do a cut crease and I know I failed. Ha! Now I have an excuse to take out my ColourPop Golden State of Mind palette and I'm gonna be taking that snow looking color and apply that to that clean areas of my eyes. Pack them colors because you want it to really show. Whatever is left over from the green on that brush, just apply it to the under eye to help even out the top and the bottom.
and now just line your eyes as thinly as possible because you don't want your liner to cover up the shadow. I've realized I'm not really the best at doing eyeliner. I can pretty much do to where I can get by and no one will kind of notice like my mistakes. But I mean, I'm still trying to learn how to really find like the best techniques to work for, you know, my daily eyelining routine. Now with my all-time favorite Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Foundation, I'm gonna use my beauty blender and just apply it all over my face. If you have watched any of my videos in the past, you'll know that this is like the only foundation I pretty much use. It's so light on my skin and it's so, I don't know, it's just the coverage, it's just amazing. I don't like that full coverage look, so this is like the perfect key. And then I just go over with my, um, concealer and my powder and it just looks flawless so the other day my family and I were in Chinatown my sister got me to into the face shop store um, she introduced me to this eyebrow pencil which is I'm which is what I'm using right now and look at how easy it is to apply it's what only five dollars it's so much cheaper than you know the average American brands like Anastasia Benefit and Honestly, I like it. I might end up, you know, purchasing it again when I run out. So you notice that I'm actually trying to um, make my eyebrows look thicker so that it looks more youthful. And, you know, it's coming out. It's coming out. Right now it looks kind of funky, but, you know, a little bit of makeup wipe will clean it up. To make sure my eyebrows look on fleek, I'm going to conceal it and clean up the area so that way it looks sharp and looks like, you know, I'm about to cut a bitch. So there's like so many projects I would want to do, but it's just the timing is so bad for me. I try my best to put out time for makeup tutorials and vlogging and, you know, family wise, but it's very difficult and I do apologize, but I mean, uh, we do what we have to do, right? Oh, so I'm going to be using thin lashes this time because I just want the makeup to really show. Oh, let me tell you about that bronzer. Patrick, you are a goddess for that. Like, that bronzer is so amazing. Look at how pigmented it is and look at that nice contour sculpted cheeks. It cannot get any better than this, I swear. My new favorite. So I'm just gonna apply that to the side of my face and then I'm going to soften up my jawline and my forehead, you know. <laughs> Gotta look more feminine because I look too much of a man in most of my videos, honestly. I swear I have like the ugliest Asian nose ever. So I always skip this step every time I do my videos, but this time, you know, I got it. I got it. I am definitely contouring my nose so that it looks pointy on point. Don't forget to add that highlighter to your nose. Make it look bright and sharp. Now, with my highlighter inside of that ColourPop palette, I'm going to apply that to my cheeks and make sure that it is visible and make it look like it's the star of this whole entire look. And, you know, just go ahead and apply a little bit on your, your forehead area too. That's okay, you know, just brighten it up, brighten it up. And with the Patrick Star MAC Lipstick, apply that to your lips. It's nude. It is, you know, just 
soft. And then just go over with ColourPop's um, the glitter shadows from the palette and just apply that to your lips so that it can really just pop. Because you know. Yes. And that is it for the video. Pretty simple. I know it's not that easy, but it is dramatic. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy holidays to you and your family, and you guys stay safe, okay? We'll see you next year.